everyone, it's me, your friend, Superguest, here for another video, where today, we are gonna be looking at another video, but not any other video, a life hack video. If you guys do not know what a life hack is, it's pretty much putting two things together to make life easier. Let me give you a demonstration. This is, by the way, this is back to school stuff, so, and also it's back to school stuff right now, so we're good. Today, I'm going to show you some great life hacks for going back to school. If you've been given a new timetable and you're struggling to learn it, you can take a photo of it on your phone and set it as your lock screen picture. That's brilliant. That's actually what you do for life hacks, like make life easier, like this. And your wallpaper. This way you'll always have it to hand, and looking at it regularly will help you to learn it. If you're packing gym shoes in your- There was a thing over there on the timetable that said juggling. What? Why do you teach juggling at school? Bag for sports lessons. You can use tumble dryer laundry sheets to keep them smelling fresh. Just tuck one in each shoe to help fight those nasty odors. Yes. If you haven't got dryer sheets, you can try using a couple of tea bags instead. Yes! I don't drink tea though, so that might be helpful. If your zip breaks when you're doing up your bag, I hate that. you can use a paper clip to replace it. Amazing! What is with these people? Amazing! Just thread it through for an instant DIY handle. Wait, what if the zipper breaks the other way? Blew it. You might also find this useful for a pencil case, or even a jacket. Yeah! If you like using a highlighter pen to pick out important bits of information on a document, You can customize your marker by touching the tips together from different color pens, like this. I'm using blue, yellow, and pink to make my own rainbow highlighter. You can try different color combinations, and they're great fun to use. Amazing. Amazing. Use. You can decontaminate the nib by scribbling on some paper to get back the base colour. If you've got some spare time, you can take a plain piece of paper and use a ruler to draw a grid on it for a game of snakes and ladders. Add some numbering and the all-important details. And you My game is shoots and ladders. A shoe is a slide, if you did not know. You can use a pencil for a dice. It needs to be a hexagonal pencil like this, not a round one. So it's gonna be like a dice? Like use a pen to number each side of the pencil, one to six. I'm doing mine at this end of the pencil, but if you wanted to, you could do it at this end. So you can remove the evidence of secret game playing by sharpening your pencil. Amazing. I'm gonna do that. Pretty sneaky, huh? Yes. Give it a roll, and you're ready to start. For counters, you can take a paper clip and open it up like this. If you've got other ideas for simple games you can make at school, maybe using the pencil dice, you can let me know in the comments below. And yeah. if you've enjoyed this video, you can see some of my others by clicking on the links on the right hand side, or take a look at my YouTube channel. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm gonna look at more of this stuff. Um, let's see. Summer Life Hacks. 
Today, I'm going to show you some amazing life hacks, which are perfect for summer. You can cool yourself down by making a nice frozen yoghurt snack, and we're going to use teaspoons for handles. Use a knife to make a small slit in the centre of a yoghurt pot. Okay. Then push through a teaspoon. The lid will help to keep it centralised and upright. Do the same this with the is, other... This is actually really genius. How they make this stuff, and by scratch, it is amazing. Is it amazing, guys? These life hacks. Yeah, yeah, pretty awesome. Yeah, pretty yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's. I am flabbergasted about this. The pots. Just put the spoon in. And carefully place them in the freezer. I hope you guys learned something today. The following day, they'll be frozen solid and ready to eat. Just snap one off and peel off the lid. And you can put the rest back in the freezer for later. Amazing. You can experiment with different flavours. And if you like, you can use sticks instead of teaspoons. No, I think the teaspoons are better because they're curved, so they won't fall out easily. I'm using these to make some mini ones. I guess you could use them for minis. If you find your frozen lolly, or popsicle, starts melt- Lolly, that is actually a really weird phrase to call a lollipop. Thing ...before you finish it, which often happens with small children. Uh, hate it. You can take a cupcake paper, make a small slice in the bottom, and slide it over the stick to act as a drip. What? It is amazing how these people do this. Tray and help stop those sticky fingers. It's like it has a tutu on. <laughs> and you can, of course, use them with the frozen yogurts we made earlier, too. Of course! Horse! Amazing! You can also thread a straw through a cupcake paper. Why? And use it to stop any flies or wasps getting into your drink. That is amazing. That is amazing! Do I have you ever heard of a lid? And if you like to try something a bit different, you can serve up drinks in nice glass bottles like this. To keep your drink cold, you can take a Ziploc freezer bag and fill it with fruit. Remove any straw. And use the straw method. Pretty much the straw method is you put the straw through the middle of the st strawberry and it takes out all the seeds and all the bad stuff that you don't want. It's like without the straw, you would um, like take the strawberry and you would eat it. And they would awkwardly take it out, and you're like, Oh, a little bit of more strawberry, huh? <laughs> and yes. Talks first. And you can use a variety of different fruits. Exactly! When you're done, zip up the bag. And pop it in the freezer. Yes. Next time you want a cold drink, take your frozen fruit and drop a few pieces into your drink. Unlike ice, these won't melt and dilute your drink. Instead, they'll slowly thaw and add more flavor. Pretty cool, huh? Yes, yes it is pretty cool, but I'm guessing I have to end the video right there, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly learned a lot about life. It is amazing what you can do with all this stuff that you see everywhere. Like, this piece of paper. You could do lots of stuff with it. You could make a, a crumpled piece of paper. Yeah, you could do lots of stuff. Well, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Leave a comment down below to tell me if you have any life hacks that you would like to share. 
And also, I have a special guest with me. Come here. Come here, baby. It's the Perry Dog. You want the ice cream? You want to do a life hack with an ice cream? Hmm? <laughs> I don't think he wants to be here. Do you want to be here? <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Say bye, baby.